Hello friends, welcome to my art channel. My name is Alina and today we're gonna paint this beautiful white orchid. They are common orchids. They're in the Phalaenopsis family and they're also known as moth orchids because I suppose they look like moth. For this painting, we are using acrylic and the colors that are needed are white, yellow, blue, dark teal, kelly green, red, and carmine. So to start the painting, we're gonna go in with the first layer to fill in the petals of the flowers. And for the first layer of the petal, I'm also gonna mix in some color to give the undertone of the flowers because these white orchids they're actually not pure white they have some pink undertone and yellow undertones and for the shadow i'm gonna use blue undertone to indicate the um the shadow values of uh, the petals For the lips of the orchids, I'm gonna mix in some white and yellow because predominantly the lips of this type of orchid is yellow. For the half bloom orchid, um, with the undertone of green, I'm also going to add in some green with the white and yellow mixing. Moving on to the leaves, um, I'm not going to give too much attention and detail to the leaves since they are not the focal point of this painting. Um, with the leaves is going to be a combination of Kelly Green, White, Yellow, uh, Blue, and Dark Teal. So for the shadow value of the leaves, uh, I'm going to mix in more of the teal and the blue. And for the lighter um, part of the leaves where the light get to shine on it, um, it's gonna be a combination of yellow, white, and green. So I noticed that teal and blue isn't dark enough. Um, I'm also going to add in some carmine to the mix and a little bit of purple just to give it a really dark shadow. Notice that I didn't use any black for the shadow because I am painting on black paper.
for the stems of the orchids, I'm going to use a combination of carmine and dark blue. At this point, um, all the elements of this painting already have the first layer down. Now we are going back in and adding more layer of the same color family to um, make the painting pops out more and uh, to get to the point where the colors are uh, almost similar to the actual orchid itself because my painting for this particular painting it is based on a live plant that I have. The two red sticks there, they're anchoring sticks um, to keep keep the, the orchid in shape. So I thought it's an interesting feature. So I might as well put it in um, the painting as well to give it more um, height to the painting. It is now day two and um, I have let this painting settle down and dry overnight because acrylic gonna dry and look different. Um, so now on the second day or se second sessions of the painting, I'm going back in, um, just adding more layers to the painting. Um, now the second or third or fourth, I don't know which layer that is, but um, it's basically a light wash of white and keep adding on more light wash of white. Um, notice that even though we're adding more white on, but it's not, it, the, the undertone color of the first layer is still seen through. So that's the purpose of um, putting the first layer down in, in color. For the center of the orchid, also known as the throat of the orchid, I'm going to mix in a combination of um, carmine and yellow. Uh, which gives an uh, orange hue and also dip in some red dots in the center. So let's talk a little bit about the black paper that I'm using, which I really love. It's by the brand name Car Catchet by Dealer Roni and is made in England. It's a mixed media um, paper pack and it's a heavy weight, um, 121 pound with 180 uh, G per meter square. It's really lovely and I have been really enjoying painting my acrylic in watercolor mix on, on this paper. I particularly love black paper when I'm painting some really uh, bright and beautiful um, flowers. Yeah, they really make a high contrast and I, I really love it so far. Highly recommend and is not sponsored. So 
here I am continuing to add more layers to the painting and have you noticed as the more layer I keep adding the more beautiful the painting becomes and that's one of the things about art uh, and the creative process of uh, painting is that every painting always start out quite ugly <laughs> in my opinion because uh, it's it's had um, it's just the foundation so as you add more layer on uh, keep going uh, if you can overcome the hum and the struggles in the beginning once you establish all the elements down and it's it's just adding more layers and it's it's really rewarding to see um, the result in the end so if you're new to art and to painting don't give up keep going keep adding more layers and your painting is going to be really beautiful in the end you'll be surprised So for the background, um, with the black paper, I didn't want to do too much. So I'm just going to add in some blue and some carmine um, just to add more dimension to the background. At this point, I'm happy with the painting. I'm gonna call it finish and pull the tape. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you watch the entire video and stay tuned with me until this point, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. It will help my channel grow. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave, leave me some comments below to, to let me know if you ever try painting on black paper and do you like it. Um, uh, that is it for this video. Thank you so much once again. I will see you on my next painting video. Bye-bye.